So I took those ideas and invented what resulted in the Venturi Red Wine Aerator. Um, I got very lucky. I met a car designer, mm -hmm. and he designed the actual shape, which a lot of people say it's looks beautiful. great. Yeah, it's comfortable to hold. Okay. So let's see if this thing works. All right. So I'm going to pour you a little wine out of the bottle. This is a Napa Cabernet. Thank you. And with the Venturi, you just hold it over your glass and pour wine through. Oh, listen to that. And it's so efficient at drawing in air and mixing the proper amount of uh -huh. air for the right amount of time. It's got a real, you can really hear the air going into the wine. Yes, you know it's working. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the, the control version and interesting nose. And the best way to do the test is to first try it straight out of the bottle, then the Venturi, and believe it or not, then go back to the bottle. Mm -hmm. well, first of all, this has a much more voluminous nose. I mean, the nose is just jumping out of the glass. Whoa. It's a dramatic difference. I mean, it's explosive. It's just beautifully balanced. It's got a lot of fruit. It's it's almost it's, a different wine. It's almost a different wine. It's totally texturally. It's it's a totally different wine because it's so smooth. But Venturi is just based on aeration, so there's no magnets. There's no hocus pocus. There's no rare earth metals or anything like that. It's just properly aerating wine, and we all know mm. that aerating red wine helps. Now, try going back to the one from the bottle. It's almost yuck. Yeah, it's flat. It's, it just doesn't, it doesn't have <coughs> any depth to it. Whereas this is just really, I think the full potential of the wine is showing here. So before you tasted the Venturi one, that was an acceptable, yeah. drinkable wine. But after you've tried the same wine through the Venturi, that's almost now not drinkable. True, very true.